Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So this is an introductory video. It's not part of the main playlist of developing a social media application with microservices. This is an introduction and a setup video in case you are interested only in how to send emails and implement related functionality with Node and Express. All right, so this is I'm recording this extra video to help you set up the project in case you are not following the other videos. If you are interested, I will put a link to the playlist where I am listing all the videos related to the social media application. And here we will help, we will go through setting up the project. It's very simple. What we need to do is this is the GitHub repo. I will also put a link in the description of this video. And all we need to do is to copy this URL and then go to our terminal and you can change into whatever directory you prefer. So here I will sw um, switch into my personal projects and then I can simply run a command, git clone and the repository that I'm interested in. Now here, if you look into, sorry, I need to switch into the directory. If you look into the status, we are on branch master, right? But branch master is not the only branch and there are two other ones. The slash dev is some branch that I use for testing, for developing things myself and then preparing a little bit for the video so that I have a more structured implementation to give to you. And the UA1 is the actual branch that we are developing in the videos, right? So if I switch here, then you see that there are more commits, not only six commits, but 28 commits. So ideally you would also get checkout lm slash UA-1, right? So this will for sure, um, it's already up to date because we are, we just cloned the repo. So now what you need to do is, let's see the files that are here. So we have a readme file, there is a git ignore, which doesn't show here, and then there is the auth directory. And within the auth directory, if I list what I have as files, there is a package lock.json, right? So if I simply run npm ci or npm clean install, this is going to install all the dependencies that are necessary to my project. In your case, it's very likely to take longer than, than what took for me here because I already have the packages in the cache of my, of my computer. So for you, it may take, may take longer, may take a few minutes, especially for the MongoDB memory server. Now, this is a test-driven development process, which means that we are focusing primarily on tests. And as such, we still didn't implement the actual connection of the application to the remote database, even though we have the tests working with Mongoose models and working with Mongoose schemas and doing all the operations that they are supposed to do. And everything is passing because we are using a memory server, right? So here now, if I simply run npm run start dev, this is going to start our um, server but there will be almost nothing there there's just the off route that you can use if you want to I mean, you can just open the files and check the structure of the project but the most important part here are the test scripts so if i run npm run tests you can see that we have automated tests for virtually every folder here and it should take a while but all the tests are passing which means that all our functionalities are working so far as expected, right? Since we are at the beginning, this is still a very, let's say, ambitious statement to say that our application is working as expected because the tests cannot ensure that, right? This basic test, tests 101 tells you that tests can never ensure that the program is working 100% correctly. They can only point out the things that are not working in the program, right? But we are making uh, as much effort as we can to think about meaningful test cases for our application. And it will be the same for implementing this functionality with the emails in Node with Express. So once you check out into the lm slash ua-1 
branch, then you make sure that you run the npm ci script and that all the packages are installed. And you can run this npm run test to make sure that everything is working for you. That should be more than enough for you to be ready to follow with the next videos. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye bye.